News 13. News weather now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. President Barack Obama in Central Florida this afternoon. Find out who the president wants to reach out to. Plus, there's excitement at the Amway today as thousands of basketball fans come through for the NCAA tournament. We're finding out what the games could mean for the city beautiful. And could there finally be a breakthrough in the search for a missing airplane? See what crews found floating in the ocean. From News 13, the latest breaking news, county by county coverage, plus weather on the ones. This is your midday news weather now. Good afternoon, everyone. Glad you're with us right here on News 13. I'm Christine Webb. Your top story is just minutes away, but first, let's get a check of your Weather on the Ones forecast. Well, we did have a weak front rolling across the area early on this morning. Doesn't really mean much for our weather. In fact, this afternoon is going to be perfect for the official start of spring. Here's a look at Storm Tracker 13. Just a few clouds will notice for the afternoon, both wind switching more to the northeast. We are going to be warming up quite a bit. So here's what's ahead. High temperatures in the upper 70s to even some around 80 degrees, all with plenty of sunshine. Then for tonight, mostly clear skies sticking around seasonable overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s. And we are looking at a warm up to continue as we go into the next few days. Not much in the way of rainfall. We'll break down that entire forecast all coming up soon on your weather on the ones. Within the next hour, President Barack Obama is scheduled to touch down right here in Central Florida. He'll be speaking at Valencia College's West Campus along Kirkman Road in Orlando. It'll be the first of several forums the president will be attending to talk about economic issues. This one this afternoon will specifically focus on women. News 13's Caroline Rowland is at a private terminal at Orlando International Airport where the president will be flying in this afternoon. Caroline? Christine Air Force One scheduled to arrive here about 1.30 this afternoon. From here, the president will go to Valencia College where he's scheduled to sit down with a group of local women for a roundtable discussion. He's expected to talk about a number of issues, including his plan to expand women's access to higher education and address the skills gap. The president will also be pushing his effort to raise the federal minimum wage. He wants to raise it to about $3 to $10.10 an hour. Now, Florida has the third highest number of workers getting minimum wage, affecting about 1.7 million Floridians. Now, the Valencia visit kicks off the first regional forum planned before the summit with future events in Denver, Chicago, San Francisco, Boston, and New York. Now, the last time the president was in town was in August, speaking at the Disabled Veterans Conference. Now, from here, the president will fly to Miami, where he's scheduled to attend two political fundraisers tonight for the 2014 elections. Now, we'll be carrying his arrival here as well as his speech, so stay tuned to News 13. Again, he's expected to arrive about 1.30. In Orlando, Caroline Rowling, News 13. Testimony continues this afternoon in the Brandon Bradley trial. He's accused of killing Brevard County Deputy Barbara Pill. One of the key pieces of evidence shown today was the dash cam video from Deputy Pill's patrol car. News 13's Greg Pallone is at the Brevard County Courthouse in Vieira. Greg, this video was only shown to the jury? That's right, Christine. The video monitor positioned in the courtroom where only the jurors were allowed to see it. But according to our Jerry Hume, who is seated and reporting for the court, he describes the panel as looking dismal as they watch, one even close to tearing up. Now, Deputy Pill's family left before the video was played. Now, a string of gunshots rang out, heard from the dash cam mounted on the rearview mirror of the deputy's patrol car. Pill's voice can be heard moments before the shots were fired. Several times she demanded the occupants of the car get out, but they never did, and the deadly shots sounded out. Prosecutors say she was able to activate her uniform's microphone during the shooting. Some shots were broadcast over the radio. Testifying before the video was played and on the stand during it, the original officer who responded to the burglary call at the motel where Bradley and Andrea Kirchner were suspected of stealing items from their room. 30-year, 33-year veteran Deputy James Troop briefly broke down on the stand when asked about what he saw as he showed up first on scene where his colleague Barbara Pitt had been shot several times. Did you request medical assistance for Deputy Bill? Yes, I did. Did you go check on her to see if there was anything that you could... Yes, I did. Was there anything you could do? Yes, sir. No, there wasn't. Top is the, uh, the whole 
A BCSO supervisor also testified this morning. Corporal Brad Servi was in charge of installing 200 dash cam video systems in the agency's cruisers, including Deputy Pills, which recorded the shooting on an SD car. The systems were put in in late 2011, just months before the shooting incident took place. He explained the cameras are activated when an officer turns on his or her blue lights or manually presses a record button on the rearview mirror or a mic on their own uniform. Now, prosecutors questioned the corporal and two other BCSO investigators who were uh, took possession of that uh, SD card into evidence. The goal was to prove the card was never altered in any way. We're also expected at some point today to hear testimony from Andrea Kirchner. We'll let you know when that happens. Reporting in Vieira, in Brevard County, Greg Pallone, News 13. You can watch all the day's developments in court on Bright House Channel 314 every night of the trial starting at 8 p.m. It's the unedited video from court, so we want to warn you it may be graphic for some viewers. And when court's in session, News 13 is giving you minute-by-minute -minute updates from inside the courtroom online at mynews13.com. There you can also see a complete timeline of the case and new pictures of Deputy Barbara Pill just released by her family. Australian rescue officials plan to go back out tomorrow morning to search for possible objects from the missing Malaysia Airlines flight. Officials say four airplanes searched an area of about 1,500 miles in the southern Indian Ocean near Perth today. The airplanes were checking to see if two large objects that were spotted in satellite imagery bobbing in the ocean were that from Flight 370. As you know, that flight disappeared back on March 8th with 239 people on board. One of the objects was about 80 feet in length and the other about 15 feet. The second round of the NCAA tournament begins today. The number one overall seed, Florida Gators, are playing right here in Orlando this afternoon. Bright House Sports Network's Tiffany Green joins us now from the Amway Center with more. Tiffany. Well, Christine, four games are on the docket this afternoon, but of course, as you mentioned, the main attraction are the top-seeded Florida Gators. They come in here with a lot of bravado, a winning streak. Of course, the rankings we already mentioned, regular and postseason championships. So a lot of Gator fans are terribly excited about the opportunity to see the Gators hit the court today, taking on Albany. But this is where it all counts. The regular season starts today. It's one and done. It's really important that the Gators advance past the great day. Of course, they made their mark back in 2006 and 2007 when they were national champions under head coach Billy Donovan. And he knows what it takes to build a national contender and just how hard it is to maintain that status. I knew we were going to have to rebuild. We lost a lot, a lot of personnel. And uh, it's been challenging. It's been rewarding. Um, there's been peaks and valleys. There's been ups and downs. But... You know, I'm proud of what our team has done to get to this point. You know, we're happy that we could certainly stay here in the state of Florida and in the city of Orlando to play in the tournament. And they've got plenty of fans to go along with it. This is a near sellout for the 410 tip off. But there are still seats available, although limited. So that's good news. If not, then you'll see a sea of orange and blue throughout the downtown businesses as they are luring in Gator Nation to join in the watch parties to see the Gators take the court. Christine, have you filled out your bracket just yet? Not yet, Tiffany. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I should. <laughs> All right. You only have a, a little bit of time left. So from the Amway Center, I'm Tiffany Green with Bright House Sports Network. The NCAA tournament games right here in Orlando aren't only exciting for basketball fans, they're also a welcome site for businesses. News 13's Marker Kavanaugh explains how the games are expected to have a huge financial impact on the city beautiful. Extra chicken on the grill. More pizza dough being made as businesses are opening their doors earlier than normal in downtown Orlando to prepare for March Madness at the Amway Center. You have the number one team in the country coming here. It's just going to be nuts. City leaders say there'll be 10,000 fans for each team with eight teams. And that's a lot of people leaving the Amway Center, making their way under I-4 and into businesses here in the downtown area. Our sales will probably be triple or quadruple. 
more money for these businesses, but also for the entire area. City leaders told News 13 the basketball games will generate $10 million for all of Central Florida. There were 53 cities that fought to be part of this tournament. Orlando was one of eight cities awarded the right to host the second and third round games. This is like New Year's Eve for us. And it's been a decade since the City Beautiful hosted the NCAA Men's Tournament. I think it needs to come every year. The Amway is a great arena and this is a great town. And this is a great place to party. In Orlando, I'm Marker Cavanaugh, News 13. With thousands of basketball fans headed to Orlando, don't be surprised if there's a lot of traffic. But there are ways that you can avoid it. All those headaches. Let's bring in real-time traffic expert Ryan Harper with some tips. Ryan? I-4 and downtown Orlando will be busy at times for the next few days, so the best advice is to avoid it. But if you can't, expect some delays, especially around the Amway Center. Division Avenue between Church Street and South Street is actually closed for news trucks at the NCAA Games. Division won't actually reopen until 11 p.m. Saturday. Church Street between Huey and Division Avenues will be closed pretty much all day today and Saturday as well. Pine Street also is closed pretty much all day on game days. And Church Street again from I-4 to Orange Avenue highlighted in green will be closed periodically. The area in yellow is actually Huey Avenue between Central and South Street will be closed after the games for traffic. As for traffic on I-4, it's going to be similar to having several Magic games going on over the next few days, so we're expecting lots of downtown traffic if you're trying to drive the lane, as you will. For News 13, I'm Ryan Harper. The husband of Ebony Wilkerson, the woman who drove her van with her kids into the Atlantic Ocean, was in a Volusia County courtroom today. As you'll recall, Wilkerson's sister, Jessica Harrell, had recently filed an injunction against Lutful Ranjan, which kept him away from his sister-in-law and her family. But this morning, attorneys for Harrell and Ranjan told a circuit judge they had agreed to ask the court to dismiss that injunction. Ranjan's attorney said his client hadn't spoken to Jessica Harrell in two years. The judge accepted the deal but warned both sides it would be in everyone's best interest if they kept their distance from each other. Ron John had no comment after the hearing. Your accurate weather expert forecast with Storm Tracker 13. Welcome back to your weather on the ones. It is 11 past the hour on this Thursday and not a bad forecast for the remainder of the day and it did officially start spring today. So looking at seasonable forecast not only today but over the next several days. Looking in downtown Orlando, not a bad looking shot here. We had a few clouds rolling across the area but for the afternoon plenty of sunshine and will warm up rather quickly. Not too long ago on this shot we saw that blimp flying over the Arnold Palmer Bay Hill Invitational that's taking place today and it looks like some pretty good weather for that event. Looking at Storm Tracker 13, some temperatures early on this morning starting out where they should be for this time of the year, but a little on the cooler side for certain areas like Ocala around 53, Daytona Beach at 51. You head farther off to the south, warming into the mid to upper 50s and even down along the coast. Some of those temperatures in parts of Brevard County in the low 60s to begin the day. We did have a front roll through winds briefly switching off to the northwest, but throughout the afternoon back to the northeast, so we will be warming up quite a bit for the remainder of of the day. Here's a look at your forecast for the rest of the day. High temperatures most in the upper 70s to even some areas around 80 degrees like Kissimmee Palm Coast a little bit cooler at 72 with plenty of sunshine for the afternoon heading into tonight keeping some mild conditions mostly clear skies with overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s Palm Bay dropping only down into around 61 degrees. Then for tomorrow we'll see wind switching more to the northeast and even off to the east throughout the day. Lots of sun to round out our work week. High temperatures even warm upper 70s to low 80s and that warm up only continues as we go into this weekend. We're talking mid 80s by Sunday. Here's your surf forecast heading down to the beach today. Keep in mind long period swell, high rip current threat down along the coast. Definitely want to check with your lifeguards before getting into the water, but if you're going down to the coast, not a bad day. Here's a check of that tide forecast for your Thursday afternoon. We're looking at some pretty nice weather over the next few days. If you're celebrating your spring break, it's looking pretty good. We'll break down your extended forecast coming up at 21 past the hour. Right now, a live look at Storm Tracker 13. Local forecast is brought to you by Total Septic. If water runs through it, we do it. Having lots of 
lots of choices and saving money is important. That's why I come to Eyeglass World. I get two different looks and it's all within my price range. I get the glasses I want at a price that makes sense. Only Eyeglass World gives you two pairs of glasses for $78 and contacts as low as $11.50 a box. When I change my glasses, I change my whole look. The best part, I can get my glasses the same day I order them. Eyeglass World, glasses that make the difference, prices that make it possible. When weather happens, the weather experts, backed by Storm Tracker 13, have you covered. Strong thunderstorms moving across central Florida. Scanning the skies, bringing you live images of the weather with more accuracy, more power. From the largest digital Doppler network in the southeast, Storm Tracker 13. Accurate, powerful, live. News 13. News, weather, now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. When asked why I became a lawyer, my answer is really quite simple, to help others. I've been that way my entire life. Being born and raised in Orlando, I've known and literally been able to help thousands of you over the years. And due to your great support and confidence, Need Jame Law has expanded over the years, now with multiple divisions. They include real estate, personal injury, immigration, criminal, business commercial litigation, foreclosure, intellectual property, among others. Have a legal need? Need Jame Law. Help is here. Give me your tired, your sore, your huddled masses yearning to break free. The weekend warriors, the casual strollers, the short of breath, and the short on time. Send them all. For at the Y, they'll be welcomed. United in the pursuit of fitness. Breaking news happening right now on News 13. News 13. News weather now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. This lottery update is brought to you by Todd Miner, attorney at law. Injured in a car accident? Get the help of a former insurance attorney. governor's race starts to ramp up for the summer months. The candidates are both making economic claims that would benefit their side. Recently, former Florida Governor Charlie Crist appeared with Candy Crowley on CNN to talk about his campaign. Here's what Charlie Crist said about the economy at the end of his term as governor. Can I get you in a yes or no to tell me whether you think the economy is better than it was when the governor took office? I think it is, yes, you, you can. And, and, you know, I'm always comfortable telling the truth, but that turnaround started at the end of my term. All right, there's the claim. The economic turnaround started at the end of Charlie Crist's term. Josh Gillen from PolitiFact joins us right now. And Josh, how did the truth -a meter rate this claim by Crist? We rated it half true. Now, the Great Recession started during Charlie Crist's term, uh, and it may have affected the entire nation, as we know. Uh, and so that gives Crist a little bit of leeway, because he's the one who accepted federal stimul stimulus dollars uh, that allowed some things to get better. The unemployment rate started to tick up near the very end of his term. Uh, manufacturing started to go up. Uh, unemployment started to drop just a little bit. Uh, but when you look at uh, per capita GDP, for example, which is what a lot of economists use to measure overall economic activity, that was still dropping. Uh, but I mean, did things start to get better? Yes, they did. Can he take credit for all of that? That's not so clear. We call it half true. All right, thanks, Josh. So how did PolitiFact come to their conclusion on this item? Well, you can check out their sources and documents for yourself right now online at minus13.com slash PolitiFact. And you can see more of PolitiFact each week on Political Connections. Political Connections airs every Sunday at 11 a.m. and 8 p.m. right here on News 13. Well, spring officially starts today and the forecast is right where it should be. But for how long? We'll have that forecast coming up soon on your Weather on the Lunch. 
Priority Health is brought to you by America's Best Contacts and Eyeglasses, the best prices in sight. Call 1-800-2-PAIR or visit us at 2 pair.com. Kia Madness at Orlando Kia. <laughs> right now, get $7,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for any trade. Towards the purchase of any, select new Kia in stock. Drive home a new 2015 Kia Sorento SUV for just $179 per month. Or a new 2014 Kia Soul for only $99 per month. And if you have a job bringing home $350 per week, we want to approve your credit. I'm Big Dola Deep of the Orlando Magic. We want to see you. In the Kia. At Orlando Kia, east, west, and north. Not one, not two, three. It's a three for all at Hudson's Furniture. First, save 45% store wide. Then, get a free sales tax discount. And to top it off, we're even throwing in free delivery. 45% savings, free sales tax discount, free delivery. The three for all, now through Monday at all Hudson's Furniture locations. Don't miss it. You've made your home their home. So when it's time to release them back into their natural habitat, at first it's bittersweet. But when you pay for the day so they can play all year, soar all year, explore all year, you know you did the right thing. This is where they belong. We may live in houses, but we're born for bush gardens. For a limited time, buy a Bush Gardens Fun Card and get an Adventure Island Fun Card free. When a person has an injury claim or death claim, big or small, the insurance company may take advantage of its power and resources. Often, it's not about what's right or fair, but about what the insurance company can avoid paying. The insurance company is not in the business of looking after you or your family. It's our business. It's our privilege to level the playing field. Bogan Munns and Munns since 1979. Tracker 13 is brought to you by Knee Jame Law. The strength, experience, and compassion you deserve. Knee Jame Law. Help is here. Accurate weather expert forecast with Storm Tracker 13. We are at 21 past the hour. If you're celebrating spring, it officially begins today. The next couple of days, the forecast really holding up to the name of the Sunshine State. I'll have that extended forecast coming up shortly, but looking at our Kennedy Atlantis camera here at a Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex, lots of blue skies down along the coast. Gorgeous day with plenty of sunshine continuing for the afternoon and winds briefly switched to the northwest this morning, but is now going to switch off to the northeast as we go into the afternoon, and that's going to be able to increase temperatures quite a bit. Upper 70s to even some around 80 degrees. Now, I do want to show you the wind speeds here. Not too bad. The front did cross the area early on this morning, sitting off to the south of central Florida. The closer you are to that front, the higher your wind speeds will be. Melbourne around 16, Kissimmee at 12, Lakeland even at 10, but the farther away, the farther north you go, those wind speeds really coming down and in in fact, areas like Daytona Beach and Ocala seeing some light winds. And again, they're going to be switching more to the northeast throughout this afternoon, continuing to warm us up for the day. But the next couple of days is really where we're going to be seeing an increase in our temperatures. Looking at that forecast as we go into this afternoon, a little from the north northeast, upper 70s to around 80 degrees for high temperatures. But really heading into Friday, we'll start out the day with some lighter winds, temperatures in the 50s. But by the afternoon, more easterly wind picking up quite a bit for the afternoon will boost those temperatures in most spots into the 80s by Saturday and into Sunday. We're talking mid 80s for our high temperatures. So a big warm up heading our way for the weekend. Looking at that forecast for the rest of today, a few clouds possible. It will definitely be seasonable on this official start of spring today. High temperatures around 79 degrees. Looking at your comfort index, humidity not too bad. A little on the lower side, so your comfort index a little higher. It's going to feel exactly like the temperature outside. And looking at tonight. Mostly clear skies continuing through the overnight hours. Some patchy fog developing again as we go toward daybreak on Friday. 
but will be burning off quickly. Temperatures in the mid to upper 50s. Here's a look at our seven day outlook. Not too bad over the next couple of days. Plenty of sunshine to round out our Thursday. That will continue right on into Friday and even on Saturday. We're looking at dry weather to start out the weekend with temperatures jumping up quite a bit. 84 degrees for the high on Saturday. We'll keep that temperature heading into Sunday. Slight chance for a few showers Sunday afternoon, but the best chance of rain really holding off Monday and Tuesday a little unsettled with a better chance for those showers to start out next work week. Temperatures will be dropping back just a bit behind that system by Wednesday around 73 degrees. Here's a look at your pollen forecast brought to you by Trial Pro. The trial professionals really noticing this high count for that pollen that will continue in the early parts of the weekend. Coming up in less than 10 minutes, we'll have another update on what to expect with the weather over the next couple of days. Right now, take a live look at Storm Tracker 13. In today's health headlines, today is the first day of spring, and that brings warmer weather. But for allergy sufferers, it can mean weeks of just feeling lousy from all that pollen. So how can you find some relief this time of year if you do suffer from allergies? Health experts say allergy medicine may help with mild to moderate symptoms. Spring from runny nose, sneezing, and itchy eyes, I will recommend an antihistamine medication for your symptoms. But if nasal congestion is an issue, then it's a decongestant that may be more helpful. And if you start medication before you experience symptoms, doctors say you may be able to keep them away or reduce their severity. Here's another tip for you. Take a shower when you get in if you've been outdoors a while in order to wash away all that excess pollen. Meanwhile, researchers believe there's a link between ADHD drugs and weight gain in children. That weight gain tends to happen as they enter their teen years. Researchers say the earlier children are put on the drugs and the longer they use them, the more weight they could gain later in life. As always, for more health headlines anytime, all you need to do is visit our website at mynews13.com health. New information right now. Paleontologists have unveiled a new dinosaur. And judging from its name, you just got to see this thing. Take a look. This is the Anzu Wiley Eye. Scientists say you can think of it as a really weird looking bird. Take a look. But they say this bird weighed about 500 pounds, stood about 10 feet high, and had very large hands with sharp claws. Scientists say the Anzu ate small animals, vegetation, and possibly eggs. A team of paleontologists made that discovery after piecing together skeletal remains from three different sites in North and South Dakota. Well, temperatures this afternoon will be right where they should be for this time of the year, but over the next couple of days, jumping above normal. We'll tell you how high the temperatures go all coming up soon on your Weather on the Lines. Topping the headlines this morning. You're watching News 13, only available to Bright House Network's customers. Police are on alert. It may be done, but you're not. When you're ready to get caught up, turn to your evening news on News 13. News, weather, now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. All your favorites on demand are now all together on one channel. Bright House Networks Local On Demand, channel 999. You'll find entertainment, fitness, sports, travel. Plus, news gives you more coverage of the day's big story. It's all in one place. Bright House Network's Local On Demand, channel 999. Check it out now. It's free and available exclusively on Bright House Networks. Flag bullies. This includes corporate and government ones, whether a powerful insurance company, a governmental entity, or opposing counsel attempting to crush good people. I fought this fight my entire career. If you followed my career, you know this. If you haven't, please go to NeeJaneLaw.com or Google me for more information. When you're up against big business or big corporations, NeeJame Law is at your side. Being bullied, NeeJame Law. Help is here. One truth in this life, you can't escape your demons. I thought I hung my tire chains up for good, but I can't shake this bad feeling that I haven't seen the last of my old friend.
Experience the legendary Audi Quattro at Audi North Orlando today. Reed Wright & Associates, handling social security disability claims has been our only business for over 20 years. In one free consultation at PRW, you'll learn how we can take on the Social Security Administration for you. There's no fee for our services unless we win your case. Schedule your free consultation today and put our experience to work for you. Call PRW at 407-647-8533. For more info, visit prwdisability.com. Up to your morning news on your schedule with news weather now on News 13, exclusively on Bright House Networks. Now, the latest breaking news. Time right now is 1.30. We are bringing you live extended coverage of President Barack Obama's trip to Central Florida. He's made a number of stops here during his time as president. Today's visit... A short one. He's expected. He actually just touched down uh, at uh, a private terminal at Orlando International Airport. We want to let you know we have team coverage of this. News 13's Caroline Rowland is live where the president has just landed. Caroline? Christine, the president's plane is on the ground. It's taxing up to right where we are at right now. It's coming in a little slow. It looks like it should be at least uh, a few minutes till he gets off the plane, but we can tell you there are several people here waiting to see him. Senator Bill Nelson is here, Congressman Alan Grayson, also Mayor Buddy Dyer are here. They're expected to walk out and greet the president as he gets off the plane. There's also about 25 people waiting in a closed off area, some military servicemen and some other local people that'll get the chance to shake his hand when he does get off the plane. But again, that should be in a few minutes. We can't see it right now, but it is coming up to where we are at, taxiing uh, down the runway. And as you said, Christine, it's going to be a quick visit. Wheels up. At, uh, they say he's supposed to depart here at 345. And from here, he'll be going to Miami, where he's expected to attend two different political fundraisers for the 2014 elections. Again, President Obama is supposed to pull up right here behind us any moment now. Now, so we are awaiting his visit. Christine? Caroline, I've got to ask you, because I've been out there covering when Air Force One touches down. A lot of people may not realize the amount of security uh, that is on the premises right now. Can you kind of walk us through what happened when you arrived to the scene? Obviously, you had to be there hours in advance. There's a security team in place that actually goes through all the equipment and everything else like that. Kind of give us a flavor as to what that's like. Well, Christine, in addition to the uh, plenty of Secret Service men, there's also Orange County sheriffs out here, Orlando police officers. They have a motorcade of about uh, 15 cars ready to go. The presidential car is here ready to take him away whenever he does get off the plane. But if you want to take a look, his plane is actually coming up the runway right now. So uh, it should be just a few minutes until he gets off. Yeah, you can see the plane coming in right now. Plenty of people ready to await his visit. As I said, Congressman Alan Grayson is here, Senator Bill Nelson, Mayor Buddy Dyer, all of them going to walk out and greet the president, welcome him here for his visit to Valencia College again. From here, he'll be going to Valencia, where he'll sit down at a roundtable discussion with women. Today's visit, all about women. He's expected to talk about his plan to expand access to higher education for women and also talk about the skills gap between men men and women. Uh, he's also expected to push his, uh, his bill through right now where he wants to raise the federal minimum wage to $10.10 an hour. And in Florida, that's a big deal. There's 1.7 million people here that are making minimum wage. So maybe that's one of the reasons he decided to make this his first stop on his economic tour. There you see the plane coming in right now. Inter Caroline, interesting to note, too, uh, just in looking at the White House's website, he left the White House around 11 o'clock, and the wheels were up on Air Force One about 11.20. It is about a two-hour flight, so he is pretty much running on time. Interesting to note, too, especially I remember when covering and being on the ground when Air Force One touches down, a lot of detail goes in, and there's actually a lot of people that are on that plane, inc including 
the White House press corps. And usually, once the plane arrives, as you see there, uh, they will kind of exit off of Air Force One from the back end. You'll see a number of people. It was really surprising to see the number of people that come out of the back of the plane. And then, of course, the president will come out of the front of the plane, usually be greeted by a number of people like, as you said. Yeah, and we'll take a few minutes, obviously, for him to get off the plane, but you can see uh, quite, quite the event for him even just to get off. And we want to let you know, too, that we have team coverage of the president's visit. We also have News 13's Amanda Evans, who is standing by live. She is at Valencia College, the West Campus that's off of Kirkman Road. Again, the president is expected to hold a roundtable discussion with women talking about the economy, the unknowns who will make up this panel, how many women will be there, how long will he talk. We'll, of course, be finding out all that information this afternoon. Time right now is 1.35. In case you are just joining us, we have live extended coverage of President Barack Obama's visit to Central Florida. Air Force One just touched down just moments ago. As you can see out of the back of the plane, the White House press corps is now getting off the plane. We are expecting to see the president get off the plane just moments, in just moments. He is ex will be accompanied by Orlando Muddy Mayor Buddy Dyer. They will then travel to Valencia College, where the president will hold a roundtable discussion specifically aimed at women and the economy. president should be coming out in just any moment. He will then go into his motorcade, short, about 20 minute drive to Valencia College West Campus, again on Kirkman Road. When the president does hold his round table discussion at Valencia College, we will also be bringing that live to you right here on News 13. Just to let you know, too, this isn't the first time that Valencia College has been visited by a member of the president's inner circle. Back in June 2012, Jill Biden, former community college teacher and wife of, of course, Vice President Joe Biden, dropped by the school's West Campus to talk about the link between colleges and the companies that hire recent graduates. But today, it is all about the economy and women. And there is the president. Yeah. The 
president being greeted by Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer. We also see Congressman Alan Grayson there. So again, the time right now is 1.40. You are looking at live extended coverage of President Barack Obama's visit to Central Florida. He has just touched down at a private terminal at Orlando International Airport. See, he was shaking some hands before he gets into his motorcade, well, he, where he will then travel just about 20 minutes to Valencia College, where he will hold a roundtable discussion with women talking about the economy. That's actually where we find News 13's Amanda Evans. She's live there getting ready for the president's arrival. Uh, Christine, the energy definitely building here and the excitement as people are waiting to see the president and really for good reason. This is a very small setting for these some 200 people uh, to get the chance and opportunity to see the president so close up. Listen to him speak. Uh, president Barack Obama expected to talk on women's issues today and expanding opportunities for women, especially when talking about education. The main reason for choosing Valencia College as our backdrop for this discussion today I want to show you some numbers sent uh, from the White House where they're saying the women with associate degrees actually earn 26% more than those with high school degrees and then more than 11 million women are pursuing a post-secondary education and women are graduating at a higher rate than men yet women are still paid less than their male counterparts uh, today's events kick off a series of forums like this now while this is all all part of the president's agenda of course still making some political Political stops while in the very important state of Florida. The president will head down to Miami after his visit here in central Florida uh, for some fundraising events tonight. And Christine, as we know, uh, we've seen the president here in central Florida several times throughout the last couple of years. Uh, always an important part of the political process. The stops right here along the I-4 corridor and upcoming elections. People looking uh, to shake the president's hand and talk about some of those key issues. And here at Valencia College, an important group of of voters for the Democratic Party when you're looking at women and young voters and talking about some of those very important issues to those people here today. Christine. All right, News 13's Amanda Evans live for us at Valencia College. Again, you're looking at live pictures at that private terminal at Orlando International Airport where the president has just landed. He has just gotten into the motorcade. From here, he will head to Valencia College's West Campus that is off of Kirkman Road, where you just heard from News 13's Amanda Evans, where she is waiting for the president's arrival when the president gets to Valencia College. It's supposed to be around 2.30 when he's going to be starting to speak at that roundtable discussion. Again, the roundtable discussion expected to focus solely and specifically on women and the economy. We will, of course, take that live right here on News 13. And don't forget, we also have extended coverage on our website as well at mynews13.com.
You're watching News 13, only available to Bright House Networks customers. Police are on alert. Your seven day outlook with Breaking news happening right now on News 13. News 13. News weather now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. I think about my dad's face when his car got repossessed. My adoptive father had a sixth grade education. Uh, they struggled for money. I think about my mom, uh, how hard it was for her to put uh, food on the table. Thank goodness for a mom that cared and pushed. And so I think about those families. It drives you to every day get up and say, okay, what can I do today that's going to increase the chance that companies are going to hire more people uh, in Florida? Sponsored by Let's Get to Work. I want people to have the same shot I had. Not one, not two, three. It's a three for all at Hudson's Furniture. First, save 45% store wide. Then, get a free sales tax discount. And to top it off, we're even throwing in free delivery. 45% savings, free sales tax discount, free delivery. The three for all, now through Monday at all Hudson's Furniture locations. Don't miss it. Running Farms and Flea Market is Central Florida's most unique indoor and outdoor market. My family and I, we've been coming here for four years. We love everything that's here because you can find really good deals. It's a wonderful place. I can't think of much that you can't find here at Renninger's. From vacuum cleaners to fresh tomatoes, from antiques to collectibles. We order stuff that the clients want and they keep coming back for because they can't find anywhere else. It's a place to bring your family. Don't miss Renninger's Farmers and Flea Market this Saturday and Sunday. Remember when houses only had one TV? I mean, I don't. And now with the Bright House TV app, you can like walk around with your own personal TV. Dad, what is that? It's my mobile man cave. I just finished making this bad boy. Watch TV anywhere around the house with the Bright House TV app. Free for all digital TV customers. Bright House Networks. Hello, TV your way. Meet a legend. She flew in space 33 times. Lift off. Now stand face to face with Space Shuttle Atlantis. Get this, Oprah Winfrey has teamed up with Starbucks to make tea. You'll soon be able to order an Oprah chai tea. It features an infusion of cinnamon, ginger, and cloves. The tea will be available at Starbucks and Tivana stores throughout the U.S. and Canada starting April 29th. All proceeds will go to charities that help youth education. All right, get ready. It is a nationwide movement to spread happiness in the world. And there's a big event happening today at the Florida Mall. It's called Acts of Happiness. Organizers hope people will stop by during mall hours and sign a wall and share what they do to bring happiness to others. Money raised will be donated to the Big Brothers, Big Sisters of America. The event is aimed at inspiring people to become more successful. Happiness really does bring success. You know, I've, I've started getting promoted at work a lot more. I've, I've had better relationships with people close to me. When I become more happy, I notice the people around me are more happy and I'm more successful in my life. Good words of advice, happiness is key. The United Nations has declared today International Day of Happiness. News 13 is honoring some deserving everyday heroes right here in Central Florida who have made a difference in their community over the last year. The 52 men, women, and children selected as heroes in 2013 will be honored at a special luncheon in April in downtown Orlando. Of those 52, six have been chosen as nominees. Now that's where you come in. Your vote will help decide the winner. You can learn more about each of the six nominees right on our website at mynews13.com slash hero. You can also vote for the one you think should be named News 13's viewer choice, Everyday Hero. Voting ends, by the way, Sunday, March 30th. He's the king of the jungle and has several friends in a secluded, shady hammock. Still ahead with Florida on a thankful Join our Scott Feist for an inside look at a retirement home for big cats. The team you trust and the technology that delivers. That's why more people trust News 13 for news, weather now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks.
For four days only at Mattress One, mattresses from Sealy, Serta, and Beautyrest will be at their lowest prices of the year, with savings up to 70% off. Queen Eurotop sets just $299. Serta memory foam sets only $499. Save $300 off the GS collection by Stearns and Foster, exclusively at Mattress One. Plus, pay zero interest until 2018 and get free express delivery. Mattress One, the largest selection of brand name mattresses at the lowest prices. Visit mattressone.com to find a store near you. Bright House Sports Network is the only place to witness awesome high school baseball live on the game of the week. Thursday at 4, two conference contenders are ready to battle it out. The Dr. Phillips Panthers take on the Edgewater Eagles. The Eagles are looking to swoop back into the playoffs, but the Panthers are hungry and on the hunt for the district title. Dr. Phillips Edgewater. It's the Bright House Sports Network game of the week live Thursday at 4 on Channel 47 and HD 1147. Your home for high school sports exclusively on Bright House Networks. Are you living the Florida lifestyle? Or is poor vision standing in your way? See what you've been missing with LaserView's Custom Care LASIK. LaserView is Central Florida's first and finest LASIK vision correction center. If you've been thinking about vision correction, come sit down with me and we'll talk about your options. And with 100% financing available, you can afford to live without glasses and contacts. LaserView helps you focus on what's important. Schedule your free Custom Care LASIK consultation with Dr. Magruder today. The Dave School now has two amazing programs. Our classic visual effects program placed 57 graduates on the Avengers. And new this year, Video Game Production, a 15-month adventure that takes you through play design, character modeling, environment creation, motion capture, game engine packaging, and distribution. You can learn the same production pipeline used in AAA titles. The Dave School is located on the back lot of Universal Studios in Orlando, Florida. Check out daveschool.com. Today may be done, but you're not. When you're ready to get caught up, turn to your evening news on News 13. News, weather, now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. Your accurate weather expert forecast with Storm Tracker 13. Welcome back to your weather on the ones. The official start of spring today and the weather is just gorgeous. It's the kind of day that you wish you weren't at work. Maybe you were down along the coast as some people are here looking at our trade winds beach resort. Not a bad shot here with plenty of sunshine along the Gulf Coast. Some calm conditions at least along the west side. If you head over to the east side, some issues in that area with some higher wave heights and a high risk for rip currents. But again, just a great afternoon with lots of sun and some warmer temperatures. Storm Tracker 13 shows in that front that rolled across the area early on this morning. Now off to the south of us and in a bit of a weaker state. Not necessarily a strong front for us. We had a few clouds rolling across the area. No rain, no higher winds, and really not much in a way of a cool down. We had a brief northwesterly wind early on. Temperatures starting out the day in the 50s, but already switching off to the northeast. We'll bump our temperatures up in the upper 70s to even around 80 degrees. As high pressure rolls in over the next few days, keeping some quiet weather conditions with some even warmer temperatures as we head into this weekend. A lot of people traveling now that it is spring looking across the country here. Some delays maybe across the upper Midwest as well as the northeastern states where they're dealing with still some wintry weather and definitely some colder temperatures. And looking at a few of those road hazards here in the way of snowy, icy mix in parts of Maine, even a little bit of wet roadways as well as some fog in that area. So maybe some travel concerns if you're heading up there or heading away from there could come across a few delays. Upper Midwest again, some fog and issue a little bit of ice in parts of North Dakota could be causing a few of those delays. But closer to home, we did start out the day with a little bit of fog, but that is clearing out quickly. And this afternoon, not much in the way of road hazards as far as weather is concerned, although a lot of people flocking to some of the warmer temperatures that we're seeing here in the Sunshine State. Miami up to 80 degrees this afternoon, 44 in Minneapolis, a little bit colder. Boston at 53, Dallas getting up to 73 degrees. If you're heading out to the west, California increased into the 60s for the afternoon. Here's a look at those travel delays at your major airports. Not too bad. It is a green for the time being, but check out your travel weather before heading out the door by going over to Travel Weather Now. That's on channel 600 exclusively on Bright House Networks. Here's your forecast for the rest of today. A few clouds possible. It will be seasonable with highs around 79 degrees. For tonight, mostly clear, some patchy fog as we head toward daybreak with overnight lows in the mid to upper 50s.
Here's a look at your seven day outlook. Plenty of sunshine as we head toward the weekend, not looking at our next chance of rain until late Sunday. Really better chances as we go into Monday and Tuesday. High temperatures continue to climb 84 degrees for Saturday and into Sunday. We will be dropping back just a bit after that rain next week, and we will keep you updated on the gorgeous weather over the next few days. Enjoy the rest of your Thursday. Another update in less than 10 minutes. Right now, a look at Storm Tracker 13. Now, you would expect to find bears living in the woods near the Ocala National Forest, but as our own Scott Feist discovered, there's more in the woods than you might expect. Here's Florida on a Tankful with greetings from Citra. <laughs> This is a place that um, rescues, saves, enhances the life of animals that have no place else to go. Not far from the edge of the Ocala National Forest awaits a place where wild animals are protected from mankind. When they bust them for drugs, they find the tigers and they confiscate the tigers and we end up with them. Come here, come here, come here. Jay Perrette spent 32 years as a deputy sheriff in Marion County, where she investigated animal cruelty cases. Today, she is the president of the Endangered Animal Rescue Sanctuary, or EARS for short. Every morning, we would turn the boys out in the big turnout. EARS features more than 20 tigers, several lions, a few leopards, and a handful of cougars, and even a liger. A liger is the dad is a lion and the mother is a tiger. I hear you like bubble baths, is that true? Uh, they like to uh, submerge and soak. Hey, you got soot on your nose. You may see one of the tigers enjoying a good bath. However, most tigers also enjoy a good handout. You can do it, lazy bones. Now you can see that he's missing a lot of his bottom jaw. Oh, Lord. A lot of his teeth are missing. You get it, Norman? This is not our world. Uh, we live in it peacefully with the animals um, that are also created here. That's Florida on a Tankful. <laughs> Traveling in Citra, Scott Vice, News 13. <laughs> Just to let you know, Ears Wildlife Sanctuary is open to guests who make reservation in advance. You can find the sanctuary in Citra, Florida, just northeast of Ocala and south of Gainesville in Marion County. From snorkeling in a spooky grotto, picking your own oranges, and one of the largest race car collections in the entire world, there's several more Florida on a Tankful ideas just waiting for you online. Log on to the Tankful page right on our website. MyNews13.com slash Tankful. But you're not. When you're ready to get caught up, turn to your evening news on News 13. News, weather, now. Exclusively on Bright House Networks. Commitment, dedication, leadership. Bright House Networks is looking for senior scholars in their community. If you're a high school senior living in a Bright House Network service area who demonstrates leadership in school and community activities, you can receive a brand new laptop. Submit a 500-word essay describing the importance of leadership and community service with your completed application by March 28th. Visit brighthouse.com slash future leaders for additional information. Raised in Orlando and have been working since I was 10 years old. Pulling weeds from local lakes, receiving three cents a copy for every newspaper sold, working as a bag boy at Winn-Dixie. Being raised by a single mother and grandmother, hard work is what I knew and what I loved. This work ethic has carried me through my entire career. If you're facing foreclosure, considering bankruptcy, or need loan modification, Nijam Law is here to help. Home in trouble? Nijam Law. Help is here. 
in celebration of our five-year anniversary when you buy a celebration two-night Bahamas cruise from just $199. We'll give you two additional nights at the beautiful Grand Lucayan Beach and Golf Resort in the Bahamas for free. You'll enjoy two nights on the cruise with four-star dining, great live shows, a spacious casino, relaxing spa, all-night fun, and a choice of cabin options. We'll extend your vacation with a two-night stay at Grand Lucayan with its white sand beaches and crystal clear turquoise waters. Snorkel above the reefs, play golf, or try your luck at the casino. Enjoy a drink poolside, get an invigorating massage, or just take in the spectacular surroundings. Call 800-246-8080 today to turn a two-night cruise into a four-night cruise and Bahamas resort vacation for free. Call 800-246-8080. 800-246-8080.